And Andy Bell is here. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you very much. There's a few trains going over. I know. Everything's supposed to be taking place inside my mind, so this is all, you know, my mind's a bit of a mess, really. Because so there were a lot of songs last yeah, time. Yeah, there's still quite a few songs, but thankfully we've got the help of Lana Pillay, who's amazing, and she's she's kind of the glue that holds the whole thing together. Yeah. And Pete Straker, who's he's kind of a flipped-out old hippie guy, so he plays that really well as well. Uh, Torsten's... Um, just himself. Uh, I mean, he seems to be still quite naive, but quite a bitter character. But I think because of the um, the tone of my voice, he seems more, maybe more friendly and shy than he really is. Because it was two years ago, obviously, the first show. But yeah. did you learn anything from doing that first show to change? Well, I mean, the whole thing's been written by Barney Ashton Bullock and, uh, and the music by Christopher Frost. And uh, obviously, they've, you know, edited the play and the, the producer here, Rob McWhirr, and uh, cut up songs in half and put bits of speech in the middle and stuff like that. After the first one, which was really tricky, the one that we did in Edinburgh, the, the Bareback Saint, yeah. this one, I, I seem to kind of fall into the songs much easier. The first show seemed to be something that would be, um, I would imagine something that you stepped out Side your comfort zone for as well. Yes. It seems to be something quite different, yes. especially for Erasure fans. It's yeah, I mean, different. this has been as well doing this. You know, the adrenaline's been incredible. And uh, I mean, the nerves, uh, uh, they almost got the better of me.